Hey everybody, Jo here. Thanks for popping in today. As always, it's lovely to spend time with you. Today, we're going to put a design on the April page in our Lavinia calendar. Now, once again, if you're not joining in with our calendar journey, don't worry, because I think this is a lovely design and it will look good on a card. It will look good actually framed on your wall or even in your journal. So again, it's just a design and um, lots of possibilities. And I'm going to start, I've got some of my Lavinia Low Tack tape here. And I'm just going to put that across here because I just want a, a white border. I like a nice white border at the base. I've got some copy paper underneath just for me. I find it better to work that way. And a piece of kitchen towel here just to protect the area here. And today I'm going to use two colours of the Elements ink pad and I'm going, I've am going. i gone for blue at all and oh, an upside down sun dance. I thought that was a nice combination. I like to use combinations that I wouldn't necessarily use together. And we're going to do some double stenciling. So first of all, I've got this lovely stencil, which is a lattice. And then I was looking for a stencil to go behind it. And I am naughty. I, the feather leaf is my absolute favourite. And I went straight for that. And I thought, no, I had a little word with myself. I don't know, are you the same? And I thought, I'm going to go for a stencil I don't often use. And it's this one, and it's called foliage. So I'm going to make myself, because this poor stencil was feeling very left out. And I don't like anybody to be left out. So I'm going to pop my first stencil on. And I'll sort of make it quite straight at the base. And I'm going to come in first with the blue at all. So I've got my brush for my blues. And I'm going to go in the lid as always and I want some colour at the base here so I'm going to start just gently gently tickling through the stencil and then I'm just going to work my way up here so I'll start at the base again and then work my way up this is my main area here If I want to have a look how I'm doing, oh, I like that, nice bit of colour. And then what I want to do now from here, I want to just come off to this side. And I'm almost doing a combination of a bit of a flick. And then I want to come off, just move my fingers, to this side. So I've almost got the two top corners with some stencil work. Let me lift up. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Need a bit more there. Keep checking. Because, you know, if you've got an idea in your mind, and again, just gently, gently, just tickle this stencil. Don't be too heavy-handed. You can always add the ink, can't you? But once it's on, the last thing you want to be is stuck with it and think, oh, that's too heavy. Just want it quite wispy in these top corners. So I'm going to pop that down. This is where you get good with one hand. Open my Sundance ready. Then I'm going to bring in my foliage and just let me see which way I think will go that way. And I'm going to pop it straight over there. And then with my yellow brush, and again I have one brush for yellow, one for my blue. And then I'm going to come in at the base here, and this is a really vibrant yellow, beautiful. And then just gently, gently up here. And I want a little bit poking out the top where I didn't go with my, my blue. And I'm just hoping it'll give a nice, let's have a look. We lift the two up together. Yeah, I like that. Just a little bit more sort of fading away up here. Just want it fading off the top of the page. And just a little bit more across that base. And obviously I'll spritz those stencils and make myself spare backgrounds with my clean up in my journal. And then I've got two backgrounds ready for another day. So I like that. So if I bring it closer, you can see. So we've got an area here of lovely light just with the blue. Then you've got the area here with almost just the yellow. And then here we've got what looks like, and it's lovely because obviously yellow and blue have got like greeny tones to it, poking through that lovely and it looks like our second stencil is behind the first. So it's nice to practice these things and just have a play 
Now what I'm thinking is our lovely woodland sprite is going to look really good on this. So I'm just going to turn this round a little and I'm going to ink her up in black. So that's the Nocturne, Versifying Claire. So I'm using my elements for my background. They're my dye based, my water based inks. And I'm coming in now, all my stamping I'll do in my Versifying Claire. And these are your permanent inks. And again, I want to make sure I cover this bit. I don't want to stamp on that. And I'm thinking I'll just pop it all right under April, I think. Now again, she's a sizeable stamp. And she's a silhouette. So we need to just let that ink soak into the card. I know we say it every time, but we do have new crafters joining us all the time. But also I think he's even as a seasoned crafter, we can have days when, you know, we forget things and sometimes our mojo disappears, doesn't he? Goes on holiday. I suppose it's holiday time now, isn't it? So let's lift her up. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm happy with that. And again, I think they're doing her in black. I love that the, how it ties in. So again, we're, we're aiming at that cohesive design. So I'm thinking now to come in with the English bluebell to tie in because she's on a bluebell. And we're going to go for twilight. So twilight, she's darker blue. And again, I'm thinking let's have one there and I love it when the bluebells I'm thinking April May it's sort of bluebell time the bluebell woods one this side now I know I've got three there but I want a third one in the blue so I'm thinking this side just a tip there And then the next stamp, this might be one you've not seen. It's quite an older stamp, but it ties in beautiful. It's called Bluebells. It's a smaller stamp and it just looks lovely with the larger Bluebell. And this one, I thought we'd come in with Paradise. So we're going a bit brighter. But I'm thinking for the smaller stamp, I prefer the brighter tones. I didn't want to do my larger stamp in the, in the bright. That's my idea behind it. I thought it would just be too much. And we'll come with some second and third generation. And again, I just want to do this in clumps because certainly the bluebell woods I've been in, they do grow in clumps and I just want to make it look as natural as possible. So again, we'll have a little clump there. And just, just take your time, just enjoy it again. You know, we're not rushing, we're actually enjoying creating these pages. I think I'm just going to do a little bit peeping in there and then a bit of second. Remember your second generation, don't go further on, otherwise we would have a line between the first and second. Right, I can always come back with that. I'm going to stop with that. I don't want to overcook it. You know me, don't like my pizzas. Again, that's a whole new story, isn't it? Because start talking about pizza toppings. Are you a pineapple on, pineapple off? Now, my favourite stamp ever, field grass. And this is such a lovely wispy stamp. I'm adding this at the end, just when I can see exactly where I want it. And I'm coming in with warm breeze. And this is so useful because again, it will knock it back into the distance. But again, it's such a wispy stamp look, it won't take over, it won't be overpowering. And what I love is if you just ink the top little bit here, look, you can just stamp that bit and then it goes fainter here. And that's how you often see it, isn't it? Certainly when I take Eric, when we go down the fields, the um, grass in the fields often, you can only see the top just poking its head up. So we'll do a couple look second and third generation and just alter the angle a bit so they don't look too, just a tiny bit there, not a lot. Oh, I've got some on my block. Let's just do a little there. Yeah, that's it. Don't want to overdo it. So 
So we'll give that a bit of a blot. Again, Eversafine Clay to slower drying ink. And for me, certainly I find if I don't blot it, there's a chance I might smudge it. And I don't want to spoil it. And I'm so happy with it. So we'll give that a blot. And then I'm thinking, let's spotlight our lovely woodland sprite. So I'm going to come in with the larger of the acetate circle masks and she will just fit in there beautifully look and we'll come back with the blue at all and we'll just position her there I think this is where you have to be a bit ambidextrous don't you and we'll add a bit of a hue a bit of a lovely blue and it's nice this because we're getting even another we've got our double stenciling on and so now we're adding even another dimension by adding a spotlight Do love our get togethers, you know. And I do love your lovely feedback, thank you. So nice recently, I've been demonstrating at shows here in, in the UK. And it's lovely to actually meet people. And it's amazing how many of you have your, your brew and your cheeky biscuit with me. So I am very grateful, thank you. But I know I don't do a lot to help you when you're on a diet, I'm sorry. We'll have to find some low calorie cheeky biscuits, won't we? Right, let's have a look while we're talking. Yeah, so that's just enough for me. I don't want any more. I think that's, I'm happy with that. Now again, I'm just going to wipe my moon mask on my inky binky, my circle mask, before I put it away, very important. Let's keep it all clean as we're going. So some little finishing touches. I'm just going to treat myself, look at that, to a clean piece of kitchen towel because again your ink your verse fine clair will stay wet longer on things like your masking tape your kitchen towel so just be aware of that so what we'll do now is we've got a posca pen i've got a blue a white and i've got a lovely metallic blue so what i'm thinking is with the blue posca Let's just add, and this is one of the sparkly ones, so we get a lovely sparkle here. We'll add a little bit of blue there with the sparkle. And then I'll team that together with the metallic and we'll just add a little bit. I want to overcook it, just a little bit here and on the tips of these lovely And then I just got to lean across Eric. I didn't get my, my pencils out. So with your lovely pastel pencils, we're going to get the white one and we're just going to add a little bit. And again, I'm just going to bring this closer to me just to add a little bit of highlight. Now again, you can use your gel pen for this, your jelly roll. It's whichever pencil is or pen is the highlighter of your choice you can use your posca i just like the pastel ones for me i don't want to overcook this with too much and i'm just going to give that a little bit of a smudge and then what i will do is come in with my white and just add some more almost definite and i like the combination of the two but again, that's just me. I've always said it's like cooking, isn't it? You find exactly your own little benchmark and the things that you like to do. But I do find your calendar's a great way of experimenting. Maybe a little bit on here. Right, now I'm thinking some Posca splats and some stickles. So again, if you're not into either of these, look away now. So I'm coming in with my stickles and I think I'm going to do a bit of a dot and dab here. So I'm going to dot on my field grass and dab. So bring my finger in and dab. So a bit of a dot and dab. Just so we smudge it round. And maybe just a little bit round her headdress. Not too much. We've got the lovely, yeah. I'm going to stop there. And 
give my finger a bit of a wipe and then in with the blue our lovely blue sparkle now it might be well actually i'm thinking i'm going to change my mind see i'm torn with the yellow i'm thinking the yellow might not look nice here so when you're doing yours mm, i'm torn i'm going to go for yellow in the end interesting to know what color you go for again just use your brush don't need to be violent with it some nice little splats look and i'm just directing it holding the nozzle down exactly where i want it we'll have a few round here just to add some detail and then just going to take my tape off and again if you're ever worried about your tape and you again because it's confidence isn't it with us just use your heat it up tool heat your work but also look your tape will come off beautifully the Lavini tape comes off beautifully anyway but it's always a good top tip that now what I have done so before we got together look the beautiful hairs at the bottom I've added some stamping just so it looks that lovely cohesive design so that the two will go together so all I'm going to do when we finished is add some stickles on here and some lovely yellow splats. But I didn't want to add my stickles first because it would be wet and I was leaning on that area. Now what I do want, the last thing I just want to add is the sentiment. And I'm taking it from our stickers, look, beautiful stickers. And what I decided is I want Be Beautiful, but it was a little bit green. So I've taken my brush with my blue atoll on and I've just gone across it, look to just give it more of a hint of the blue again because I'm thinking that lovely cohesive design so as always I'm just going to pop that on my scissors now I'm thinking of, you see it would look quite nice underneath but because I've got that there I'm thinking just off center and it'll just tie the two together so we'll pop that there And again, just to keep it that lovely cohesive, we'll just add a few. And again, the yellow splats are fine because we'll be able to, obviously when you're writing things on your calendar, special events, your splats are fine. So if I take that out, there we have our April calendar page. And for me, it's beautiful because I've got that lovely interest with the stencil work. I've got some white space and of course I, I just love a bit of white space. I've got fabulous florals and a lovely woodland sprite. And then at the base we've got the ex extra interest with our lovely hairs. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for joining me. Always lovely to have you pop in. And... If you have a go, please tag me in. I love to see what you do. And also it inspires each other. Any questions, just let me know. You take care. Oh, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Wonder what we've got in store for tomorrow. Have a lovely evening. Sleep well. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.